and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first Tuesday Brews Day deck. This is Demir Mirror. All right, so what Tuesday Brews Day is all about, so what we're going to be doing on Tuesdays is where we take rares and mythics that don't really see any standard play and build some decks around them. You may remember us last format doing Throwback Thursdays with that. We're continuing on that uh, theme here, but we're going to be doing it on Tuesdays, calling it Tuesday Brews Day, where we brew up some new decks. All right, so today we have two decks, as you can see over here. After our donation decks, we're uh, playing Demir Mirror, built around the Magic Mirror. And then we're also going to have Esper Alayla, uh built around Alayla, the um, the Brawl three-color commander over there. So check out that video also. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people have been wanting some Demir Control, so that's what we're going to be doing today here. Demir Control with the Magic Mirror. Um, unclear how good the Magic Mirror is, but you know we're, we're going to play it. We're going to brew around it here and see how good it is. Uh, besides that, it's just kind of good old Demir Control. Uh, we have a couple of different win cons in here. We could maybe um, win the game with Jace's ability uh, by milling ourselves. And that's really with, you know, like if Magic Mirror stays out for a lot of turns, uh, you're going to be drawing a lot of cards. So basically you're, you know, at the beginning of your, your next upkeep, you draw one card. Um, the next turn you draw two cards. The next turn you draw three cards. So I was thinking about that and I was like, well, if we have it out for five, six, seven turns, we, we may draw a whole lot of cards and we may accidentally self-mill. So I wanted a couple of Jaces in there in that case. Plus, I also have a Finale of Revelation in here. So that if we get to 12 mana and, you know, like we're drawing a lot of cards with Magic Mirror, we can also cast Finale of Revelation for X is 10 and reshuffle as well, especially if our Jaces die. Um, besides that, we're, we can also beat down the opponent. We got a, uh, three Kefnets. I was going to say a couple Kefnets. We got three. We got three Kefnets, two Enter the God Eternals, and a Liliana where we can make some creatures and attack our opponent as well. Uh, so those are kind of our win cons. And then besides that, everything else is keeping the uh, i guess we have murderous riders at two three that can be attacking also but besides that everything else is kind of uh some removal keeping our opponents in check some more card advantage with discovery and narset well discovery is really card selection but uh there's that and then uh you know removal legions and ritual of soot good old demir control here Okay, uh, before so we're gonna go ahead and play through a league. That's what we're gonna do with the, the Tuesday Brews Day decks is play through a league with each one, uh, see if we can get the five win leagues with them. But before we get to that, I should mention that we just launched a brand new Patreon page today. So if those of y'all watching on YouTube, you'd like to help support my content, uh, you know, don't feel bad about using like the ad blocker and stuff like that over there. Then you know, feel free to to join up on Patreon. There's just one tier, it's just $3 a month, and it's charged at the beginning of each month. So you can join for free right now and see if you like the content and continue on each month. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be just putting written content up there, you know, different thoughts uh, about the formats and everything like that, and then also sideboard guides. Right now we'll be, talk we'll be going through uh, banned talk right now, see if anything needs to be banned, uh, what could be banned, uh, and everything like that what if, if field of the dead is banned what cards will gain value and everything like that i'll put up a few different articles moving towards that announcement on the 21st all right uh but for now um this is demir mirror let's play through a league see how it goes all right so we're going to play a traditional standard league and here we go Good old blue black control. <clears throat> Do you think without Chromatic Lantern, Golos has a place in the Tezzeret deck? Yeah, I think so. I think that that Golos just does a really good job making like helping you get to six mana because six mana is so vital in the Tezzeret deck, and so even without Chromatic Lantern, I think it has a uh, place there in the deck and it's just a good blocker you know it's an artifact all the kind of stuff it it works just really well in the deck oh so this oh so magic mirror is a different card so this is the magic mirror but there's also magic mirror Is 
Is that is that true? Is there a different card? <laughs> Double Oko? Are you kidding me? I mean, Oko just turns this into a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to keep it though, still. Uh, would Midnight Clock fit well in this archetype? I don't... I don't think so. I think it's just kind of too weak. You know, basically... Midnight Clock's a, just a mana rock. It, you know, it has additional text besides being a mana rock, but that additional text is something that's going to come up a very small amount of time in a game of Magic. It's it's basically just a mana rock, and therefore I don't really want it. Oh yeah, there's yeah, there's other different mirror cards, yeah, mirror mirror image. One bite and all your cares are gone. Oh, we're in so much trouble. Like, so Kefnet just gets turned into a 3 3 and then does nothing. But Narset, they don't even have to attack Narset now because the questing beast. So you, you don't even have to attack Narset. They can just make this a 3 3 and attack me for 7. Ugh. Yeah, that's this is Frown Town. Yeah. Turn two Oko, even though we had Thought Erasure. Uh, and then turn three Questing Beast. Give me a break. My prowess, hone your prowess. Well, those are four lands down to the bottom. Oko destroys every deck. This deck's no different from any other deck. If you if you want to play a creature, you can't, because of Oko. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Yeah, when Oko's cast on turn two, there's it destroys every deck. I must train harder. There's nothing special about this deck that it's getting destroyed by Oko. All right, so Murderous Riders is definitely a card that we need to be able to kill Oko. All right, well, good mill. <laughs> Display all creatures that are 3-3 three, three or less with no text. Easy Oko counter. <laughs> I invite you to change your ways. <sighs> your expectations are exhausting. All my lands are down at the bottom. Oh, they didn't... They didn't make a, a food last turn. Now they just make it this turn. Hmm. All right, where's Ritual of Set? Ritual of Set. No.
I don't have any way to stay alive. Even if I, like, Narset and find Legion's End and exile these two, they still have lethal there. So. Wrecked by Oko. No surprise. Alright, so we have all these Noxious Grasps. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I should be boarding out Magic Mirror. Because, again, playing an expensive artifact against Oko is just... Not a th not recommended. It's not a, a recommended course of action. Um, but we're a Magic Mirror deck. I kind of want to try keeping it in. I'm going to take out the three discoveries. So I don't think we really have time to cast discovery. <laughs> um, after field is banned, standard just becomes Oko and Nissa meta, right? Well, they'll be they'll be best decks, but um, I don't expect anything to be as dominant as. Uh, Field of the Dead. It's it's a lot easier to build an an, an anti Oko deck, or you know anti Nissa. You know it's it's a lot easier to to build decks that are good against those than than it is to build something that's good against a land. Kozar Lord, thank you so much. I uh, said you keep my interest in magic with fun, cool decks. Learned a lot. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, that's sub that's sub number nineteen. I was one off. Thanks, Kozar Lord. Okay. And Godzilla SP. I have no time to watch you in Twitch all the time, but I enjoy them in YouTube. Well, thanks for watching on YouTube. Godzilla SP. I don't know why some sometimes the no notifications don't work. But I really appreciate that. Thanks, Godzilla. I don't know why there's no like you know, notification on screen. They mulliganed and kept a one lander after mulliganing. The problem here is that they do get to counter Jace. You know, one like Jace actually gets countered for one mana. I, w I would love to play Jace, but I'm not gonna let them just Mystic dispute it. That's two cards in the yard. Three cards in the yard. Um...
<sighs> yeah, I kind of feel bad about casting Drown in the Lock on the other Paradise Druid. Who's more foolish? The fool. Or the fool who wins that. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I grace you with my lack of presence. The problem is I'm just sitting with these legions ends. Gross. You've already lost. You just don't know it. Think this through. Gross. <laughs> Why does Paradise Druid have to have Hexproof? I would have much rather Legion's ended Paradise Druid. I'm certain you're quite charmed to me. I, I should not have used that Drown in the Lock. That was a mistake. A little surprised they didn't Questing Beast. To kill Jace. It's a matter of give and take. A little surprise there. I don't know if they're just trying to keep up a Veil of Summer. Let's broaden your existence. Must think faster. I'm targeting myself on the mill. I'd rather target them, but because of Vela Summer, I'm targeting myself on the mill. Hey, Unrelenting. One bite. This looks kind of just like the, de the deck that we were just playing, though. A little bit. Uh, these spells are not working out for me. I think a little merriment is in order. All right, so my really big mistake I made there was the Drown in the Lock on the Paradise Druid. I need to save Drown in the Lock and counter Oko or counter Wicked Wolf. Yeah, I have to counter those cards with Drown in the Lock. But yeah, that's the interaction we had there. It's not match up well. Okay, yeah. Yep, came out. Yeah, we're going to try some Alayla up next after this. Hopefully we don't just go 0-2. Really, hopefully we don't. Simic decks, though, like that, it's pretty difficult for um, Demir decks to deal with, to be honest. Those decks are, especially, you know, all the counter magic, all those threats that are hard to deal with. Yeah, our draws weren't good. But. Yeah. Um, 
Soki, the reason why Clarion destroyed those other creatures is because they had they had the 2-2 two -two Lord in play. And whenever you kill the Lord, then those creatures that have four toughness, they reduces down to three toughness, and they have three damage on them with the Clarion. And so they are killed. I want to take Circuitous Route, but then I don't want to deal with Golos. I'm doing that so that Dispersal could get rid of, like, one of these five mana cards, potentially. Is this a 5-5? Five five? It's a 5-5? Five five. Alright, well, I guess I got punished and should have... Should have done this first. Never mind. That was, that was just a... Yeah, it was a bad Tyrant Scorn. Because, you know, the Ritual said and everything. It was just... I should have just cast Discovery. Look for more black mana. It was just... All around... Bad turn by me. I really didn't, you know, I want to use the Legion's End there because I didn't want them to be able to have another, um... Don't want them to have another Krasis. Our cards do not line up very well. <laughs> These cards are not lining up well at all. Hey, Gatsby. Alright, got rid of another crisis. Two mana to put a counter on a creature? Jeez. Gives them all haste. That was a really bad Tyrant's Corn. I mean, I like milling over four cards in their library. But I know the God Eternals doesn't kill anything. Taking Circuitous Route just ended up being completely incorrect. They hit, you know, just a lot more land drops very easily. Their next their next couple draws were just lands and then Krasis that drew them a lot more cards. Should have just taken Golos. What are the eight cards I want to take out here? I guess it's just Discovery again. I 
I mean, Discovery does give us a better chance of having Ashiok or Ego on three. Yeah, Gadwick. Yeah, Gadwick's been awesome. Yeah, whenever we played the we played the Azorius deck with Gadwick, Gadwick was awesome. I'm gonna start with the Fabled Passage to get another land out of my deck. But we have like maybe our best our best card for the matchup in our hand. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, the video is from a few days ago. Yeah, the Zora's control with with Gadwick. Um, yeah, Gadwick was pretty impressive. <laughs> Thanks, Janini. I have twenty five. No, twenty six. All right, we have twenty six lands in the deck. Was a bad. This has been a nightmare. Was a bad Ashiok. We of course want to see Field of the Dead, Skolos, Krasis, all that kind of stuff. So I think I want to minus first because if they have Field or if they have a uh, Veil of Summer. Okay, getting rid of Anoka is nice. May we meet again? Remember or not? Your nightmare. If they have Veil Summer, then we wouldn't have just been able to minus Ashiok. Didn't hit any... Field of the Dead yet, unfortunately. The Thought Erasure would have been really nice to have, though. We kept six lands Ashiok. I was hoping to be able to do something else, but like that thought erasure would have been really nice. But nope. All right. Hopefully they have like three more Krasis in hand. We have not exiled a Krasis yet. They did have three more crises in hand. Wow. They really did have three more crises. <laughs> wow. All right, got all those. So playing Ashiok here means that we're only going to be able to Ashiok twice. Unless we draw removal for Golos here. No, they drew the Field of the Dead. Gonna say we hadn't gotten a field yet. I didn't want them to be able to play their other Golos and just go grab field. Oh, that was a good top deck. Well, that's just a waste. Thank you. No, man, we couldn't draw. Mur man, if we would have drawn Murderous Rider, we would really punish them. This 
All right, well, we didn't get to any other fields. So that's pretty bad. All the Golos and all the Krasis are all exiled, though. Yeah, they have 15 cards left. They have all four Field of the Dead still. All right, Murus Rider is perfect. Kill Golos, make a 2-3. Fourteen cards left. And we know three of them are Field of the Dead. There's one field. Mm. No, that gets disdainful stroked. No. <laughs> My poor magic mirror. So this deals two damage to me. They let me just have me the magic mirror. They said, don't worry about it. You can have it. No, they, they have three cards in the graveyard. So this can counter things that cost three or less. Um... I'll counter that. All right, gain a little bit more life. Here we go. Yeah, zero respect for Magic Mirror. I know, right? We're down to 10 cards. So we drew one extra card that turn. Now we get to draw two extra cards this turn. Yeah, yep, my opponent wanted to be able to counter Ritual of Set. That's what they were thinking. They wanted to save their counter for Ritual of Set for the last card. I didn't even cast anything. Why are you... Opponent just Veil of Summers. Don't even cast anything. Um... That can activate... Blue. Can draw an extra card. That's a really good extra card to see. Uh, that turns on their Disdainful Stroke also. That was a really good extra card. So I have 4, 8, 9, 10 mana. So that's 6, 7, 8. I have to shock in. Then I have Murderous Rider. Or I could just go Kefnet. Yeah, we just won't play Liliana. We'll just go Kefnet. Yeah, I, I kind of assume they have a land left. 
I don't know. I haven't really checked. If we took two forests and a plains, maybe, or an island, maybe they don't. I mean, they only have seven cards left in their library. So this also just makes them get a card out of their library. Oh yeah, they have that mountain. Uh, we have 31 cards, so we're good. Yeah, that's true. They do have, like, another Field of the Dead also for, like, another card. Okay. We get to draw four cards with Magic Mirror now. Magic Mirror! We did the thing! That's awesome. So even if we lose this and we go 0-2, we at least got to Magic Mirror and grind out our opponent. Yeah, we don't have very many spells for them to disdain Disdainful Stroke. They had multiple Disdainful Strokes. We have seven total spells for them to, dis to Disdainful Stroke now. I would have decked myself before the opponent there. Really, would have, we would have decked out first with Magic Mirror. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that Legion's end. That was, that was the best Legion's end ever. Take a Krasis and then exile three other Krasis from their hand. That was just simply the best Legion's End ever. Well, this hurts, but I, I'm playing Fable Passage here so I can have Ego next turn. What should I even ego though? Is it Golos or Krasis? It's probably just Golos, right? Like, naming Field of the Dead, they already got one Field of the Dead in play. I mean, I could just name Field of the Dead and try to take all the other ones, I guess. But that's the problem with naming Field of the Dead, is they already got one, so we're only taking Field number two, three, and four. We did not see any Agent of Treacheries in their deck, no. Um, yeah, maybe I'll still just take Field of the Dead. It looks like they have one Oko, one Teferi, two deputies. How many Veil? One, two. Two Veil? I think I only saw two Veil. No Disdainful Stroke. No Counter Magic at all. Hmm. Come on, land. Land. Yep.
<clears throat> That's unfortunate. What? Why'd they go Kenrath? Yeah, def definitely lost this one to not hitting land drops, for sure. It's their third card over there. really unfortunate. If we could have just had four mana, been able to Thought Erasure, even if, you know, Thought Erasure gets Veil of Summer, but then we could have Disdainful Stroke available. Counter the Kenrath. Be a lot, a lot different. So we'll just thought erasure. Yeah, I'm just dead. Uh, really unfortunate. I mean, if I if I don't cast, oh wait, wrong way. If I don't cast on Word Ego, wait, that was our second loss. So I I didn't update the record before. All right, well, our deck went 0-2. Uh, you know, like, <clears throat> that's the thing about our, our Bruise Day decks. They're not all always going to go perfectly. Um, a Demir deck like this, you need your cards to be able to line up against your opponents. And, you know, we played we played against, you know, arguably the two best decks in the format, you know, with Simic and Golos. Um, you know, definitely the two, the two most... Uh, heavily uh, represented decks at this weekend's Mythic Championship tournament. So, you know, no no real shame losing to the, the two best decks. That's kind of, that kind of happens. Um, but that's it. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah we could have taken Krasis, killed Deputy, had a 4-5 to block. Um, you know, we... We're uh, five, six, seven, eight. We're still taking lethal. If even if we do that, we're taking lethal because of Kenrith's ability to pump. You know, they would be able, they would have just pumped their other their other tokens, and yeah. So even doing that, and even if we block Kenrith, even if we chump block Kenrith, and you know, with that play, we still take lethal. So. Um. So yeah, unfortunately, when O two. 
Um, we did get to play the Magic Mirror that one time, though, so that was awesome. And it helped us pull ahead for sure. If I was normally playing a Demir deck, you know, like a Demir control, I wouldn't have Magic Mirror. But honestly, I don't, I don't feel like Demir control has the ability necessarily to beat Simic and Golos. I feel like if you want to play Demir control, like kind of the way to do it is like how we played the Esper uh, Mill deck yesterday that had four main deck Ashiok and Ashiok was like the win con. Because I think the Demir win cons are pretty weak. Kefnet never looked good and enter the god eternals was just fine at killing a questing beast but that was kind of it it does you know enter the god eternals when you look at kenrith and golos looks very anemic though and liliana is okay but maybe not strong enough to win games um so I, I feel like if, if we're playing Demir, that that would be the way to go is just is try to mill the opponent out, yet play control um, with Ashiok's, I guess. But, but all right. That's uh, Demir Mirror or Demirer. Um, if you're playing, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're, if you're having success with Magic Mirror, let me know what you're doing. What? Do, how are you playing, Magic Mirror? Um, you know, like because our. It's not that it's not that um. It's not really that this deck was too bad. It's just you know like we we lost to two better decks. That's that's just what happened, and that happens. Um. All right. Uh, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, also please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there i would appreciate those um but uh that's it that's it here for met for demir mirror so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video